guys, happy Friday. How was your week? Mine was pretty fantabulous. Oh my goodness, so I have so much to tell you guys today about my week and about the upcoming next couple of weeks. So let's not dilly dally with my long introduction and just jump into it. So the first thing I wanted to mention was today is going to be my very last Friday loves this month. But don't be sad. There's something even better in store. I am going to be doing the 12 days of Christmas. So starting tomorrow and then every day all the way up until Christmas Eve being the last day, you're going to see me. You're, you might even get tired of me. But I just thought, you know what, it's my... Last year was my first year around Christmas time, and I just, I mean, I didn't really do any sort of schedule. I, didn't, I was just getting into YouTube. I really, quite frankly, didn't even know what I was doing. So this year I've decided I am going to do the 12 days of Christmas. Um, you're going to be seeing things from tutorials to, like, chit-chat type videos to recommendations to, I honestly don't even have everything planned out, recipes, wine recommendations, um, yeah. It's just going to be a jolly good time. So every single day from tomorrow through December 24th, you're going to see a video from me. Then I'm going to take a short hiatus, and I'm still going to be uploading videos, but it's going to be kind of randomly. And then I'm going to resume a probably new schedule starting after the new year, after my family leaves. I really need to just take some time off of filming and doing YouTube and everything social media and just spend time with family. And I know you guys understand, and if you were in my shoes, you would probably be doing the same thing. So that was my first huge announcement, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, the next thing I wanted to mention was I'm ha hosting a Stella and Dot online trunk show. Um, I have left the, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, link for you guys to click to shop um, in the description bar of all my videos. That is still going on for, I think, another good solid week. However, the dot dollars are ending on Monday the 15th, which is three days from now. So you have three more days to really shop and then shop again. Because for every $50 you spend, you will get $25 back in dot dollars. So it's a great time to pick up a gift for yourself, pick up a gift for somebody else. The spring collection has just launched, and I'm telling you, there's some, if you like green, you definitely need to check it out. The purse, the scarf, the new jewelry, it's quite stinking fabulous. And you know what, they have gifts that are affordable all the way up to really luxurious, nice pieces. I am wearing a few things today. Everything I'm wearing is listed in the down bar. One thing I wanted to point out was these engravables make an excellent gift. You can, there's different sizes, different shapes, different writing styles, and you can personalize it however you want. My particular engravable piece here says blessed. So I just wanted to just quickly talk about that, but now let's get into the favorites. Um, after I drink a cup of coffee. Mmm. Sorry, I just slurped that. I remembered somebody had told me not to do that. I don't even, it doesn't, I don't even register. It just, it happened. I'm sorry. I apologize right now. Okay, the first favorite I want to talk about is this nail polish. This is the OPI Nail Lacquer, obviously. Why did I say that? I just read it. It's called Topless Beach. This was in the Brazil collection, I believe. I just quickly painted my nails so we're not doing any close-ups. In fact, this happened on this hand. I painted my nails while my kids were eating their lunch downstairs. And then, of course, I didn't wait long enough because I had to deal with Isaac. He had ketchup all over his face and he came running at me. And I grabbed him and then this hand is a hot mess. But the color is so... Like, I'm actually quite shocked that I like this. It's like this beautiful taupey color, but it's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's just taupe. <laughs> and I really like it. Like, I don't have a whole lot of color going on today for whatever reason. I just kind of decided to tone it down a bit and keep it kind of neutral. But this is fun. I really, really like this color. Great neutral. Just fabulous neutral. Ah! Oh, once again, I forgot to tell you what's for dinner. I've been forgetting about this. And I'm being reminded right now as I'm sitting in this room, I'm making a pot roast in the crock pot. And I made a little bit of a gravy and I put some onions in there. I used up all my potatoes and carrots, so... It's, it's potato and carrot lettuce roast, but that's okay because I'm going to roast up a yam and do some sort of vegetable. I might even make instant mashed potatoes because I love them. Um, so that's what's for dinner in case you're interested. And then, of course, throughout the week we'll be, we will be doing leftovers of pot roast. Um, my hair is not awesome today because this is like um, third or fourth day hair, but do you really care? I don't know. I sometimes really want to have fabulous hair and other times I just, you know, it's hair. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this pigment. Um, let's see. This is the Makeup Geek Insomnia Pigment. And you are going to see this in action in tomorrow's video. 
This is a complete and utter dupe for Max Blue Bar Bru bleh, Blue Max <laughs> Blue Brown Pigment. It is beautiful. This is $6.99. A full size of MAC is $21. So you do the math. You're still going to get a ton of product. You're never going to go through all this. Let me just swatch this for you. Um, I've been wearing this with the um, uh, Kat Von D Ladybird palette. Oh my goodness. Another shadow that goes really, really well with this is Burberry's Midnight Brown because it has that same duochrome from um, like a brownish color to like a grayish bluish color so it just pairs so well with that but because of that a little bit it see that orange oranginess a little bit undertone that's why it goes perfectly with the Kat Von D Monarch palette which coincidentally is now back in stock on Sephora it was out for a while um I think there were rumors last year of it just being discontinued which is exactly why I went out and bought it but now it's back and in fact I think it's in a gift set which is an even better deal so anyways if you've never tried a Makeup Geek pigment, do it. $7, you can't go wrong. You get a ton of product. Um, I love Makeup Geek products. I think they are fabulous. All right, another eye product I busted open this week. I've been trying to use up my Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner, and it's starting to dry out. I've owned it for a long time. I made the mistake of opening it up and not using it for a good chunk of time because I didn't really know how. Um, and then I got inspired. Well, I bought that. I should probably use it. And now it's getting kind of dry and funky. So I bought the Inglot Gel Eyeliner to replace that because it's significantly cheaper. And I like this better. And it stayed in my waterline. And nothing stays in my waterline. Anything, I mean, it looks good now, but in a couple hours, it either disappears. Everything, it's like a, it's like a canal. <laughs> it's like a river. Everything on my waterline just literally like goes downstream into this inner corner and then it's just a goopy, gross, disgusting mess. Um, I haven't figured it out yet. I've tried everything. I I haven't mastered it. But this stayed in my waterline all day at work and that is a sign of a great product. No touch-ups, nothing. Um, it's number 77, but it's black, jet black. It is so pigmented, so creamy. I just used an, um, what did I use, a Sigma eyeliner brush. To apply it, in fact, just the travel one looks like this. Um, this is 5.5 grams for like $12, and the and the uh, Bobbi Brown one is three grams for 20 something. And I do like this, but I think I like this better. In fact, it stayed better. Um, so if you are in the market for a gel eyeliner, I'm partial to my Kat Von D, but I'm trying to branch out and try other things. And this is really really good it's super black I mean it's good for $12 it's worth it's worth the try um, I I'm actually quite all shocked. right next thing that I picked up and I wore for the past week and you're gonna see a tutorial on Monday using these a holiday look actually and it's gonna be a drugstore so stay tuned all drugstore and it is using these oh, these are Oh, these are beautiful and you know what I, it, I need more colors um these are the NYX liquid crystal liners I picked up the colors silver and gold for a holiday inspired tutorial these are fabulous guys what are these four or five bucks NYX buy one get one half off they often have their 40% off sales at Ulta or on their actual website they're good they're good. I mean I'm expecting them to dry up in a certain amount of time because it's liquid after all but I'm gonna try to use these suckers up. They come in a lot of different colors too. If you if you want to do like uh, like blues or pinks or greens, gosh, they have a lot a lot of different colors. So I would check these out. I mean, especially after watching my tutorial on Monday, you're probably gonna want to get these. Maybe run out to the store before Monday so then you can follow along. But um, yeah, I love these. This is the week. I should have said this in the beginning, but this is the week of all inexpensive favorites. Um, Seriously, because this last, um, this is the last thing already? Wow, this is the quickest Friday loves you've ever watched for me. <laughs> You're probably like, oh, yes, finally a short thing from Chelsea. Um, I picked up some Wet n Wild lipsticks, and I don't know if these are new colors or not, or if I just missed out on these, but these, I was out shopping, doing some Christmas shopping, and these were on sale for $1.50 a piece, and I'm a lipstick junkie. Love, love, love lipstick. And so I picked up four of these Wet n Wild lipsticks. Um, you're going to see this one tomorrow. Um, I wear it in tomorrow's video. It's called Purdy Persimone. 
Okay, the packaging sucks on these, not gonna lie, packaging sucks, you have to be really careful or you nick your lipstick, which I usually do anyways, oh, just almost did it, um, it's like a game, like, what is that game where you, Jenga, it's like Jenga, you gotta try to get the cap off the lipstick, but anyways, this is the color, um, it's a really bright, bold color, um, oh, I think it pairs awesome with a holiday lip. Who says holiday has to be red lips? Usually I think red lips, but if you like orange, why not? Wear it. Um, the other color I got here is called In the Flesh, and this is a fabulous nude. I'm willing to bet this is a dupe for some sort of MAC lipstick. I'm just, I'm betting on it. It is so freaking gorgeous. I wore this yesterday, and I just couldn't stop looking at my lips. <laughs> I just loved it. Um, this one, as you can see, I already kind of nicked, but like I said, it's a game. Um, this other one I got here is called Spiked with Rom. This is a beautiful, like a mauve but richer wine color. Now, this isn't my favorite formula. They're really opaque. They're a little bit, uh, they're not the most comfortable on your lips, but I just throw a gloss over it if, when it starts to get uncomfortable. That Spiked with Rom color is fabulous. And the last one I got here is more in the pink family, but it's called Wine Room, but I think on me it's a little bit more pink. Um, oh, so beautiful. Look at that. Like, $1.50 a piece I paid for all those. Six bucks and I got four lipsticks, and they're beautiful colors. So, if you, um, like any of these colors, I would recommend picking them up. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong. Well, that's all the makeup stuff I have to share with you guys. I, I seriously haven't been, like, experimenting with too many things this week because I've really been focusing on getting the 12 Days of Christmas filmed for you guys. And, you know, I've been working a little bit on my blog and just life, <laughs> you know. So don't forget to check out my trunk show. If you do and you make a purchase, thank you so much in advance. I really appreciate it. And I know you're going to love what you get. Truly, I love, I love the Stella and Dot jewelry. And so thank you if you do. Huge hugs. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Stay tuned for tomorrow, day number one of the 12 days of Christmas. It is an amazing video. Let me just say, I'm gonna preface it, I'm gonna warn you right now, it's long. Get a Christmas cookie, get a glass of wine, get a cup of coffee, you're probably gonna need to. It's kind of a long one, but it's worth it. So, I can't wait for you guys to see it. So have a good day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.